Captain? Captain! Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain! Thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. Are demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Uh, somebody, help me! You stupid beasts! Don't you dare come over here! Who, me? I got this. Get out of here! On that. I'm just getting started. The demonic beasts were actually students. 
can this be? Thank you, but my friends who couldn't get away, are they okay? I'm on it. I stand ready. Ready and willing. Leave it to me. Stay focused. Aye, aye. Let's get to it. on its forehead. Keep it up.
I'm hardly trying. I was so scared. I'll find a way to repay you. I promise. Sorry. That was a close one. <gasps> you saved me! Thank you. <sighs> there isn't a trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Remire. Perhaps... Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> your help, sir. <laughs> huh? What are you doing here? You must survive. Merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If 
turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Agreed. We cannot let the Wicked Ones run free. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Hmm? Ah. Oh. Read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat. Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day eight of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... Gerald would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garagmark. Their love produced a child, whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Your mother she was my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. 
A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Where the Goddess Dwells. Long ago, the Guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the Goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fodlan. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. Day 5 of the Garland Moon, year 1157. Clear skies. I picked some flowers for her and returned home. The look of joy on her face at the sight of these flowers will be even more beautiful than the flowers themselves? Yeesh, that is enough. His entries from before your birth are full of such romantic blatherings as that. Oh. It must be deeply moving you to hear such things, but now is not the time for whimsy. Someone is here. You do not wish for them to see you in this state, so pull yourself together. I thought I might find you here, Teach. Not the type to wallow in solitude, huh? That's a relief, let me tell you. So, what were you reading? Is that Gerald's... So it is. Hey, maybe this has some entries from when Geralt left the monastery. Is that so? He was the captain of the knights, but something made him leave the monastery in a hurry. If it has something to do with your birth, knowing what happened may get us closer to knowing what secrets the church is hiding. Teach, would you mind letting me read that diary? I know how important it is to you, but I'm not asking lightly. Please allow me to borrow it. I'm forever in your debt, Teach. If you'd refused, I would have had to sneak in here in the dead of night. I wasn't looking forward to the prospect. Anyhow, let me fill you in on what's been going on lately, and not just as thanks for pointing me to that diary. Rhea dispatched the knights to various locations in a frantic search for the enemy. There's a rumor that she's already secured some information. Something big is going to happen soon. That has me wondering. If you find out where the enemy is, what will you do about it? If you ask, I... No, scratch that. All of us students would gladly lend a hand. Even if that means going against Rhea's wishes. Don't forget it. Now go. Everyone's worried about you. You'd better show them you're in good spirits. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I'm always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. 
we use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need, all for a purpose. Thank you.